Hello, today we'll be doing two different dishes at the Castle Restaurant. The first will be a quail appetizer. This will be a caille roti, on ni d'epinard, avec chev, sauce creme en beige. This is a baby quail. It's nested in a bed of fresh spinach, stuffed with soft-ripened soft goat cheese, served in a fresh cranberry sauce, enhanced with bogged cranberry liqueur. The quail is first prepped. These are partially boned. We remove the wings. Trimming the skin between the legs. The bird is then prepped for the cooking process. We like to keep the cavity enlarged. So during the roasting, what we shall be doing is inserting a sockle or a base to keep the cavity expanded during the roasting process so we can stuff it with the soft ripened goat cheese at the end. With fresh butter, we lightly grease the saco made of a, a wad of aluminum foil. And we insert this, insert this into the cavity. The legs are then propped in positioning, crossing them over the saco for roasting in the oven. The quail is then pre uh, prepared in this fashion with the legs being lightly tied. We've greased the body, the breast cavity on top with a little sweet butter and we're preparing to roast this in the oven. The quail is then placed in the oven and roasted at approximately 350 degrees and that should take about six to eight minutes. For the nest of spinach where the quail will sit in, we first must, must pre-blanch the spinach. With boiling water, we take fresh, clean leaf spinach and allow it to gently blanch in the boiling water. After approximately 30 seconds, we'll then remove this spinach and to secure its color, we'll shock it in ice cold water. This spinach is now shocked and will be drained to be sauteed for the nest of the quail. When draining the spinach, it's best to drain onto a clean cloth or porous napkin. After shocking the spinach and draining and draining and drying the spinach, we shall saute it lightly in sweet butter. Making sure your pan is hot. You add your sweet butter. Taking the spinach, we return to the pan which is hot. We add the spinach. and lightly season with salt and fresh ground white pepper. The spinach is then nested on the plate as a base for the fresh quail.
preparing a ring-like nest for the quail we'll prepare a sauce of fresh cranberries in classical French cuisine the, uh, the sauce preparation is probably the most complicated and some of the most refined in the world for the for the housewife and the uh, the experimental chefs at, in the household we like to give you a very simple sauce that you can prepare at home that will be very nice and complement the quail lovely with fresh native cranberries in season now we take sweet butter and saute These have been sliced very thin. We deglaze this with Boggs cranberry liqueur to take the tartness out of the fresh cranberries. We'll season with pepper. and a touch of salt. And we'll gently saute these. Possibly a touch more liqueur. And we'll monte your beurre or finish this sauce off with butter to take the edge off the alcohol and the tartness, some of the tartness away from the fresh cranberries. Gently swirling the pan in a circular motion to cause an emulsification of the butter with the sauce, we accomplish this feat. Once the sauce is made, we'll take the plate, which has the arrangement of the nest of fresh spinach, and place this into the oven. Removing the roasted quail, we'll finish preparation on this. The quail is then removed from the roasting dish. The quail will then be stuffed with local goat cheese, cheese made from a farm in Hubbardston, Mass. We open the cavity up and then fill this cavity with a soft ripened goat cheese. We'll then prepare final preparation. The quail is nested in the bed of the saute leaf spinach. Now we'll place the sauce in the dish. The quail, again nested in its bed of fresh sauteed spinach, will be surrounded with this delicate sauce of fresh tart cranberries enhanced with the cranberry flavored liqueur. Voila, the finished dish.